Hi angels, welcome back to another DIY. So in this video, we are going to be making a resin, kind of like a human heart. It does look like a heart. So that is what we're going to be doing. I got the mold for this resin off Etsy's. I will leave the link down in the description box in case you want to order it. So all you're going to need is your resin A and B. I got that off Amazon. I got the one gallon. I think it's one gallon. I don't know. You're going to need uh, two cups and then a bigger container so you can pour everything in. You need your pigment. These are the same pigment that I use to make the lip gloss. I already showed you guys that video. These are also from Amazon as well. And you're going to need a little stick so you can mix everything together. So in one cup, I'm going to be adding resin A or resin B, whichever one it is. And in a separate cup, I'm going to add the other resin, which this one is resin A. I'm gonna do the same amount. So with these cup, plastic cups, it has a line at the top of it. So at that line, that's where I stop pouring everything. With resin, you have to be very careful. You have to be doing equal amount. So you have to do in the same amount for resin A and for resin B. If you do a little bit more for one and not the other, the resin will not set and it will not mold. So it has to be equal and you have to mix it properly. So right now I'm going to be pouring resin A into the bigger cup because I'm going to need to mix both of the resins together in order for it to activate. All you do is magic. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm making sure I'm getting everything out of it because resin is not cheap. So yeah. Just pouring it in this big cup that I have right here. Next, we're going to be doing resin B. As you can see, it's a lot more watery. Resin A is a lot more thicker. So I'm pouring them both into the same container. And the next step is just to mix it. You have to mix it very well. I do mix it like eh, a minute. Just make sure you mix it properly. And then we can add our pigment in. By the way, since we're doing a heart, I decided to go with red. Now mixing, mixing, mixing. Make sure you get all the way down the bottom to the sides that it mixed properly. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. Just mixing it. Resin is really easy, it's nothing complicated. Just do half of both. So the next step is to add whatever color you want to add in there. And then let's go in with red. And now it's time to mix it all the way over. Mix in, mix in. I'm just making sure that I get it, get it all the way down at the bottom and mixing it properly. So the next step is to actually pour the resin into the mold. And that's what I'm doing right here. Just pouring it in. And this wasn't enough, so I actually had to do another layer of resin. Just repeat the same step. Nothing too complicated. Okay, so the next step, do not recommend using a lighter, but if you have some alcohol, put it in a spray bottle and a small amount, all you're going to do is just spray a little bit on the top and that is to help get away, get rid of any bubbles up top because you don't need it. 
is to leave little holes in there and that's really unnecessary. So the next step is to actually demold it, meaning that you're pulling aside the mold of the resin so that you can properly take it out. And you don't rip the resin or your mold. So that's what I'm doing. Just loosen up the sides and then I'm just going to pull it out. As you can see, this is the first time I'm ever using it and did not turn out great. So I'm going to add a second layer of resin on top of it. And you guys are going to see how it shine perfectly. There was a lot of bubbles at the first layer. So this is the final product. I decided to add a second layer of resin on top of it so it can have this nice glossy look to it. But the resin dry and I try to clean up the side with some scissors and some knife. But I'm going to need something else to clean it up properly. But this is how it looks so far. I hope that you guys like it. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next resin video. It's going to be very interesting. Bye.